Hello everyone, and welcome to the stream. My name is Saint Blessed Pretzel, you may also know me as the Boomshi. And today, tonight is uh, Verity Games Wednesday. So we are playing a game that is called The Dark Side Detective, which is a point and click adventure game. And it seems a bit silly. So we'll see what there is to be done with this. Uh, it's a game I found in my Steam library, so I probably um, I probably got it on Humble Bundle, but I hope it's going to be a fun time. And it seems very fun. So just for an example, I was looking at the settings earlier. And there is a police corruption setting that is on, still on. This is going nowhere. You should give up on this. You don't learn, do you? Or it is on. Same things with the graphics. It can be eye definition, super eye definition, virtual reality, spooky vision, your machine can't run this, or eye definition. And it's a pixel game. So you can see where I'm going with this. It's a, it's gonna be a more fun adventure. So let's see. Malice and Wonderland. This is a first case. It's basically some short stories. The chief has sent me to the Jones residence. Doodly is there with further details. Let's start investigating. Let's see how this goes. Whoa, almost shot you there, detective. You should have been sneaking around like that. Doodly, you watched me drive up. I had my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. I guess this place has me spooked out a little. So, what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up with, and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid, Alice, went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be kind of spooky crap. I mean, the kind of case you're into, detective. Great, let's get started. Speak to Officer Doodley. Can expect squad car. Our trusty squad car. I like to call it the Popomoto. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, that's the menu, which is good to know. Let's talk to Officer Doodley. After you, detective. You know, whenever standing in this rain stops being fun for you. We can go outside, inside then. Where are you doing? So, Officer Doodley. Why is there elbow dripping all over my carpet? Hey, that's Detective Francis McQueen, Mr. Jones. He's here to investigate. I see, Twin Lakes finest, hey? Painting. Nice schooner. Ah, you dummy. It's not a schooner, it's a sailboat. A schooner is a, su a sailboat, Dooley. Yeah, sure. hope you don't smoke around your kid. Thankfully, Detective, I'm rarely around my kid. Sure, if that's a thing to be thankful for. That's the hallway, upstairs. No way to go back. Or come talk to Mr. Jones. So how can I help you, detective? Tell me about all this. I'll level with you, detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has limited conversation pool. She's seven. Exactly. Tedious age. So I leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Where were you last night? Why didn't you notice that she was missing? I was out. How oh, wonderfully shady. Have you gotten an alibi? Where I was is none of your business that you have my taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Dudley here take you to. Fine, call this number, they'll vouch for me. Bessie Bell's Booty Boutique. Classy stuff. Ah, Bell's. Fun memories. I mean, where was he? At Bell Shop? What? I got matches. Okay. Okay, whoa, these folks must be millionaires. Let's go into the hallway. There's a clock, a study, a closet, and the living room. Shouldn't be here. One of those crystals is worth more than I get than we get paid in a year. We could take one. You, eh, you passed the corruption test. Well done, detective. Your grandfather clock. This reminds me of my own grandfather. Your grandfather was a clock? What? No, he had a clock. Shame. I thought I finally found out something interesting about you. What? 
I'm interesting. <laughs> Whatever you say, detective. Let's go through the closet. Hmm. A black light bulb. Might as well take it. Now all we need is a disco ball. Some white loads. And fat beads. Then we've got ourselves a good night. A good night is finding this kid. Like that. The, 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 the other policeman is kind of funny, Dooley. Could you follow me into this closet? You may need to bag it? Yeah, sure, in the closet. I can't help but think... Okay. Let's investigate the study. Hmm, it's locked. That's the closet we just came out of? Is this a light? Go back to the living room and go upstairs. The telephone. On another place for a telephone. I must have run out of places to draw. I mean, to put it. Oh my god. A place this fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. Oh yes, of course it's plastic flowers. Oh, there's an attic. Ooh. Paint can. Look, those look heavy enough to knock somebody out cold. Broken lamp. Hmm. May not be broken after all, just a blown bulb. Paint in her. Paint in her fell when the shelf gave way. Not much left of it now. Boxes. A book smart. Anne's book and dream. Interesting. Other boxes. A bunch of forgotten memories. But I didn't want to investigate there first. Let's go to the other's bedroom. Okay, there's Teddy. Matt, a tree, a pony. And Mrs. Jones. Oh, can I ask? My baby, my baby is gone. Can you tell me about that? She just disappeared, my baby. Is there any? You have to find her. Okay. <laughs> tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. A spit no nothing bear. That's embarrassing. A drawing of her suspect. Really? I'll put on an APB. No, Dolly, don't do that. Hey! I don't have a tree. It helps me find spikes. <laughs> what? I've never seen a horse with five legs before. Drawers. I don't have much use for a dozen pink socks. And it's no time for art to get blacklight. This looks so useful. Blacklight marker. Ooh. Okay. I can see how this could be useful. Photo. She seems like a sweet kid. Don't worry, we'll find her, detective. I to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of all this is in her heart. That's her mom looks quite happy here. Benani, tell me about this. She's spilled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. What's Benani doing here in the master bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No sir. How long have you been working for the Jones? Jones is it, detective. Even though it ends with an S, you still pluralize it. Is it really the best time? It's always a good time for grammar. <laughs> no, it's not. Anyway, answer the question. Long enough for uh, to arbor no hill will whatsoever. Say, you're the nanny. The very innocent nanny, yes. I bet you are. Do you have keys for the various rooms? I am nanny, not a maid. Right, do you? Yes. I have the keys to study then. Sure, there's nothing incriminating in here anyway. Okay, a drawer. Seems simple. I'd go riffling around somebody's drawers and invited. I would still do that. Let's use the black light. I was gonna reveal somebody's at exchange. What? What the hell? Well, it doesn't look feminine at all. A dark side doorway. The pattern on the walls look washed out in places. I wonder what would happen if I redrew it. Okay. First, I need to know what to draw. Okay, so I need to go in the study. Okay. Hey, are you free to help wallpaper my sister's house this weekend? I can do the first floor, but I need somebody to hold the ladder while I do the second. I think she means inside the rooms. Really, thank goodness. I was not looking forward to wallpapering that roof. Let's go to the study. Hey, presto, we're in. Roy Jones, Esquire. It takes a certain type of person to have an understanding of themselves. 
Lantern, an oil, an old oil lantern. Seems to have some oil left too. Oh no, not on my watch. I probably like this thing, you know, just in case. I have a lit lantern. A bookshop. A nice collection of books that does suggest they've not been looked at in some time. For shame. This statue is likely enough to be worth a lot of cash. Magazine stacks. Is my magazine collection. Jeez, this guy's obsessed with jugs. Jugs with you. And a lovely pair. Yes, armchair. Hey, I just realized that there's only two seats in this entire house. Don't be that dooley. There are more, they're just off camera. Of course. You can never trust a man who owns many books, that's what I say. How many books are too many? Six. And how many books do you own? I don't feel comfortable with this line of questioning. Of course not. Letting us in the books. Okay, let's see. If we go upstairs, can we do something with the lantern? One light emitting lantern. Seems like a bad idea to me. Paint cans. Oh no, not on my watch. This old paint marker and oily residues. Okay. For use under black light. Yeah, okay. Can I get something out of the Miss Jones? Oh, uh, there's a creep. Have you found her? I found my baby. Not yet, but I want to ask. You have to find her. Please find my baby. Maybe we'll all right. I need to find what to draw. Water bed. Very sensitive. Looks like something has been kicked under here. No, it doesn't. I got a staring page. Aha! It's a particular pattern from the Occult for Dummies book. Of course. Can I use the page? Okay, I seem to have everything I need. Let's get down some spooky edgings and read out those missing symbols. Okay, not this one. What I need is this one. And this one. And this one. That should be it. Great. Maybe now's a good time to stop doing well anything really. Let's go to the dark side doorway. Even I'm not foolish enough to be going there with no light. Well I got light. Okay, Lily, let's do this. No offense detected, but I'm going nowhere near the creep pest. Uh, I'll stand guard here. I'll stand guard out there. Looks like a box mark. Baby spilled cold for skull rubs. Old mixer cir circa uh, 1880. What would you store that? Oh, junk. Don't look in there, mister. That's where the tree eyed rat side. Oh, uh, hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good. I'm hungry. I know some of the downstairs scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Spring! Not so fast, detective. Where's Dooley? That he did, I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around here anymore. So I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her, especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, they're getting trapped in the dark side's version of their bedroom. It's where they be now if Alice hadn't got into my stuff and slowly trapped herself up here. I figured it'd be best to lay low until you had gone. I thought you'd have given up by now. What kind of cop would give up on a missing kid? Most of the <laughs> Yeah, I guess fair. Totally fair. Ooh. So what's this? An internet scheme? You have to admit, it's really perfect crime. It, it is, actually. Even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know to give her much shot. Much shot. When Zully wakes, you and your schemes will be done for. Mm, that's a good point. I'll just have to get you to drag him in the air with you. Come on. Okay, drag your friend in no funny business. I'm gonna use the paint thinner. Have a taste of your own medicine. No. Problem solved. Yay. So, the kid got into many stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic? Dark side. But that's a surprising, a surprisingly succinct summary of the things, yes. Shame that Annie was certifiable. She was a looker. Dully, she was dabbling in the dark hearts. With a plan to trap innocent people in the parallel world. Kidnap their kid. 
and still are the cash. I said it was a shame, jeez. I wonder where the nanny got the echo books from anyway, that stuff is hard to find these days. Okay, so for another day, I guess. First of all, we have to figure out what kind of paper we cover this mess. Covers this mess. Yay! First case closed. That went well. That was fun. Hello, this is Future Brett speaking. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I'm trying something new and splitting this VOD into multiple episodes, with the end of the series only available on YouTube, so keep an eye out for that. If you want to catch me live, please take a look at my Twitch channel, link in the description. My current schedule is every Wednesday and Sunday at 8pm Eastern Time. Have a nice day, and see you guys later.